I don't care if you film. I, I really don't. You can still be with the I, I'm I'm fine right here, man. Hey, I'm telling you to back up. Dude comes out shooting. Who do I have to worry about? D don't worry about me. Yeah, you're not breaking the law right now. But I'm just asking you as like a favor. I'm just exercising my yeah. First Amendment constitutionally sure, practiced sure. right. And I'm, I'm exercising my authority as a law enforcement officer. I'm not breaking the law. You said that. Not yet. If you want to be an asshole, I'll throw you in the back of my car and I'll take you back there. Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story was submitted by Northwest Transparency. You may know him from a recent viral video in which he confronted a Kings County Sheriff's deputy about a thin blue line flag on his patrol vehicle. Why do you have this Blue Lives Matter so desecrated I, so flag on your car? I asked you your it's question twice. It didn't take long for him to succeed in having it removed. The flag has been removed from the vehicle. The video he sent today reminds me a lot of my own video that forced me to create this very channel. We need you to get inside. For what? The guy comes running out here with a gun? What do you think? Then I'll get, get then I'll get inside. Okay, I will be back to arrest you if you don't get inside. You're gonna arrest me on my own property for standing on- To arrest you. Okay. You're gonna get arrested. For standing on my porch? Okay. Thank you. I, I give you a lawful order. I'm trying to- For standing on my porch. We don't, I don't care if you don't. Yeah, I know, it doesn't matter if you care. If you wish to see any of those videos, they will be linked below. For now, Northwest Transparency was filming at the corner of 59th Avenue and 118th Street in Seattle, where multiple officers of the local police department and sheriff's office were staged outside of a home of a barricaded suspect. The suspect's home was about 150 feet away and behind multiple trees and another house. Note that a transit bus occupied by customers was stopped in direct line of sight of the suspect's home. Uh, I don't mind you filming, I really don't. But there's a guy with a gun in a house next to this one. Okay. Run it back up just a little bit for me. No, I'm good here. I don't want him to come out. I'm good here, man. Okay, I'm actually gonna tell you to back up. I don't care if you film. I, I really don't. You can still be with the. I'm I'm fine right here, man. Hey, I'm telling you to back up. You can film all you want. Okay, but what's your name and badge number? My name is Deputy Bugas. My badge number is nine three three one nine. I don't care that you film. I just don't want you in a place I have to worry about you getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Right? That distracts from me, from my job, okay? No, just go to your job, man. Okay, just back up for me then so I can pay attention to what's going on over here. All right. I have to deal with bystanders, right? I, I'm not interfering. I'm just I, I here watching. Hey, dude comes out shooting. Who do I have to worry about? D don't worry about me. Don't worry about you. And if you get hit, they're going to go, why is dude standing here? Uh, this is my constitutionally protected activity. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, not guess, breaking guess, the law. Guess, you're not breaking the law right now, but I'm just asking you as like a favor, right? Okay. Because this, this is. This so is, what did you just say? You said I'm not breaking the law. Not so go do your stop. stop. I said yeah, right? No, I'm not. I'm not planning on breaking the law. Go okay. do your stop. Cool. Do me just a favor. No. And back away from the house. I'm just staying here. Okay. Dude, don't don't be like this, man. I'm just exercising my yeah. First Amendment constitutionally sure, practiced sure. right. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm exercising my authority as a law enforcement officer, commissioned by the state of Washington. You just control, said I'm not breaking the law. To control a crime scene, okay? You said I'm not breaking the law. So go do your stop. Oh, it's not a stop, it's a dude with a Go do, whatever, I'm not breaking the law. You said that. Not yet. I know I'm not. By, by you, by you not backing up a safe distance away from us because right now now you're in where police cars are coming into <laughs> just go to your job man okay all right i'm not handcuffs. i'm not I'm breaking the law i promise you i'll throw you in handcuffs and jam you in the back of a car if you want to act like this i'll throw you in my car and i'll drive you down the street and you can sit in there until we're done i'm not breaking the up, law if you want to be an asshole I'll throw you in the back of my car and I'll take you back there. Do you want to do that? As far as I am aware, being an asshole is not against the law. Much less could it be proven as an objective fact that someone is, has, or could be in the commission of being an asshole. Oxford defines the word as a stupid, irritating, or contemptible person. Based on this exchange, there has been nothing to hint at Northwest Transparency's intelligence, or lack thereof nor has he acted out in contempt, which leaves us with irritating. And if being filmed by the public from a safe and reasonable distance is irritable, I would remind the officer of his oath to support the Constitution. Are you giving me a lawful yes, order? You just said I'm not breaking the law. Now you are, because now you're obstructing. Back away from where all the police cars are, past that rent one there, back up past that rent car. I'm gonna I go up here. You film. Yeah, back off up the hill. Don't care that you film. 
away from where the police cars are, dude. You're not allowed to be inside here. I'm not in there, man. Back up up the hill, please. Northwest Transparency moves about 15 feet up the hill as more officers arrive, and about four minutes later, he's asked to move again and is approached by a supervisor. All right, man, I'm gonna start taking stuff off. You can go to that side so you can see the whole thing. I don't care. Or you can go up the hill more. You're not gonna be able to see much. Okay. Yeah. You want to go back there behind those police cars? No, I'm good. Okay, do it. Okay. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. If you don't go right down there right now, it's your last chance. I'm gonna put you in a car. Either go up the hill, past my partners. You cannot be running around where the cops are running. I'm not running around. You cannot be. In the I'm area. just here exercising no, 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 my no, no. First Amendment right. No excuse. I don't want to hear an excuse of why you think you're allowed to be here. Because if I say you're not, you're not. I don't care that you film. But you're either going to go up the hill, past where my partners are, or you're going to go down there, past all. The all right, I'll go past your partners up here. Yes. Yep. I understand you have a constitutional right to be there. Yep. There is a man with a gun. Okay. You are within striking distance of that gun. Okay. So as long as you're aware of that. All right. Okay. Appreciate it, Sergeant. It is important to note the tactical disadvantages of the location Northwest Transparency was moved to. In a firefight, there is cover and concealment. Concealment is the use of things like camouflage or bushes to hide, but offers no protection from incoming projectiles. Cover is using a wall, rock, or other firm object to protect yourself from incoming fire. The first location offered both cover and concealment with the house and trees offering protection and visual suppression. The new location offers neither cover or concealment, and is in the direct line of fire from the barricaded suspect's window. I imagine that Officer Bugosh didn't realize his grave mistake and would likely not have ordered Northwest Transparency to stand directly in the line of fire. But it is still important to remember that law enforcement is not legally responsible to protect the citizens they serve. The incident ended peacefully, and Northwest Transparency left without further contact or issue. But I commend him for filming the scene as body cam footage is becoming more and more difficult to obtain. Had this incident ended poorly, it could have been months or even years before the body cam footage was released to the public. It is extremely important to recall all interactions with state actors and to demand transparency. Thanks again to Northwest Transparency for submitting this video. Please head over to his channel and let him know I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.